To write the formula for zinc carbonate, we'll go to the periodic table, and zinc, that's Z-N. And carbonate, you won't find that on the periodic table. That's a polyatomic ion. We can tell. We can tell because it ends in A-T-E. So this is a polyatomic ion. We look it up on a table of common polyatomic ions, and it's CO3, 2 minus. So zinc is a metal, and then this carbonate ion, the CO3, 2 minus, that's a group of nonmetals. A metal and nonmetals, that's ionic compound, and we need to take into account the charge on the zinc and then on the carbonate ion here. So the CO3, the charge on the carbonate, that's the 2 minus. Zinc is a transition metal, and normally they have variable charges. But in the case of zinc, it's an exception. It's always 2 plus. So these charges, they need to add up to zero for this to be a neutral compound, and zinc carbonate, that's a neutral compound. Two plus, two minus, that adds up to zero. So this is the formula for zinc carbonate. Let's get rid of the charges and clean it up. And that's the formula for zinc carbonate, ZnCO3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.